Crisis Heroine, or Heroine Crisis, depending on your translation, is a game about magical girls. Magical girls in hentai. Magical girls in one of those hentai. I think the proper term for this particular game would be a Heinemann TTRPG we never got. So, who made this game? I'll give you a secret. It was made by 2chan. Yes, 2chan, our Oni-chan from across the sea, the den of depravity that inspired 4chan and beyond. Heroine Crisis is a game born from a lot of can-wees than should-wees, and it definitely shows. But we're gonna look at this objectively. Overall, the game's a relatively basic 2D6 system about the characters entering into a situation to confront monsters that would like to do nothing more than to... Uh, give people a yogurt. Yes, yogurt. The characters are almost entirely randomized, which fits the theme, though obviously you can make your ideal heroine, but that's kind of defeats the purpose of the exercise, as these heroines are gonna get fucked up and, um, violent, um, hurt. They're gonna get really fucking hurt and probably not make it past level two unscathed. The game is incredibly lethal, with basic enemies being able to deal 2d6 plus 4 to 2d6 plus 8, with higher tier enemies being able to do upwards of 2d6 plus 13 damage relatively consistently. This doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it plays into the heroine crisis's health system, as every heroine has armor points and health points. Starting armor ranges from 6 to 24 spread across two independent areas, as well as having a direct hit value which can simply bypass it. Hit points totals tend to gravitate to about around 32, meaning each heroine can often only take about two or three hits before going down, if they're lucky. Particularly nasty hits can be doing upwards of 20 damage in attack, with bonus effects on top of them to completely cripple the average heroine. Well, you asked then, just jack up your defense skills, right? Well, there's, well, there's where things get a little bit tricky. Almost all attacks are guaranteed action, meaning that they will always hit unless defended against. So how do you defend? Using spells. A starting character will only have four spells in total, but calling them spells is also kind of a misnomer, as they're more in line with perks, granting spells such as blaze shot to things such as strong heart for bonus health points. One of these kinds of spells are reaction spells, which cost to limited mind points, which are used for other spells, as well as multiple abilities, which doesn't naturally regenerate in combat. Often these just reduce damage rather than strictly avoiding it, meaning that you will almost always be taking damage relatively consistently unless you're actively avoiding combat. However, combat is the entire point of the game. Heroines have one last trick, but they're crisis ability. These are powerful abilities which allow the heroine to sweep battle heavily in her favor, such as making every enemy the target of spells, ignoring damage, increasing basic damage by 8 to 20 d6, to straight up restoring everyone's health and mana. So, uh, how do you, how do you pay for these, Snowpad? How, how do I, how do I pay for them? Well, you pay for them with crisis points, or crisis acts. Crisis acts are triggered situations by the player to generate crisis points, which can be spent to perform crisis abilities. Crisis abilities can cost anywhere from about 1 to 12 crisis points. Now, what are these crisis acts? Well, remember what I said it was one of those hentai or the Tynaman games? I present to you a carefully curated list for all of you. <clears throat> Massive chest, breast complex, overflowing female juices, hot nectar, defiled mouth, force-fed yogurt, secret flower garden, ravaged peaches, pure heart, crumbling ply, dirty glasses, unrefined skills, scarlet blood, stomach gouging pain, blood stain, vomit, and many, many more. Most of these acts only generate about one to three crisis points for completing the requirements. Often these involve your armor breaking, sustaining HP damage, or having unique events occur to the character. These also gain sex points, which in turn act as a negative when you go down. You only also get seven of these crisis acts to use during the entire session. When a character is defeated, they must make a corruption roll as the monsters hop on them and attempt to feed them subway sandwiches. While they will be adding quite a bit of dice to the roll, often around 3 to 5d6 at the first level, the sex points act as a target number, the game almost requiring you to perform crisis acts to use crisis skills to avoid defeat, which in turn makes it harder to survive should defeat a Occur. There's also a demon army system on top of everything, but it's, yeah, it's it, it, it functions, all right. A bit on and overdone, but nothing really too bad to write home about. Here's the issue with Crisis Heroine, though. It's that the game is split between three separate core ideas. It wants to be this dungeon caller with repeated engagements, but enemies deal too heavy damage, so the grind requires a lot of time, effort, and blood to be spilled. It also wants to be this action game. However, the resources aren't 
plentiful enough and systems not refined enough to actually do that. Finally, the game wants to be this lewd har 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 game about being in a hentai anime. It is, however, fucking brutal and puts the mechanics on those so you are taken out of it. Instead, you're trying to min-max or waste the chest damage to maximize your crisis point gain. Hoping you're allowed to roll exhibitionism imprint for you to pick up the joy of exposure next level to get that sweet plus two crisis points. It's messy, the kind of game you sit down and laugh your ass off while reading the quietly put away and never speak about it with anybody, but it exists, and I read it live. So, my name is Notepad Anon, and this was Crisis Heroin. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh yeah, $80. If I get a gross 80 United States dollars by next month, I will rewrite Crisis Heroin. The entire thing. I'll fix the math, I'll patch some of the rules, and generally make Crisis Heroin to Electric Boogaloo. You can donate the link below if you want, or buy a game on Itch, or fuck, sub on Twitch or Patreon. God help us all. Oh Jesus. Father of lies, come in disguise. Your come won't last. There's a snake in my...